Okay, welcome. We're going to talk a little bit about probability. You will have one of these questions on your exam. And we've been doing coin flipping, uh, different activities. So the definition of probability is the frequency of a particular event, and that's assuming the experiment has been repeated an infinite number of times, and we know that that probability will occur each and every time. So for example, if we toss a coin, and we'd want to know how many times I would get heads every time I flip a coin. Well, we're going to use the letter P for the event. So the number of times I get heads, there's two sides to a coin. There's a heads and a tails. If I just am concerned about the heads, that would be one on the number of events. And then the, divided by the total number of events, well, there's a head and a tails, so that's two. So half the time I would expect, that's the key word, expect to get heads half the time I would expect to get tails each and every on every toss. So keep this formula in mind, especially when we get to dominant recessive traits, because sometimes you may need to add to get the total number of events. Okay, let's throw out a couple other things before we get to dominant and recessive traits. Now if I was to throw a dice, I'd want to know how what's the probability of getting a two. So there are six sides to a dice and a two, that's one event. I tried to trick you by putting a two there. So every time I throw the dice, I would expect it to land on two a sixth of the time. Okay, the probability of getting an ace in a deck of cards. Well, there are 52 cards in a deck, not including the jokers. And an ace, there are actually four kinds of aces. Hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds. So that would be four, those are my events. So, I would draw an ace four out of 52 times. Okay, now, next two problems are what it will be very similar to what it will be on the exam. So, read the problem first, just like all genetic problems, pick out what you need to be looking for. Okay, the dominant trait yellow C coat appears 450 times, recessive green appears 122 times. I wanna know the probability of, re of a recessive trait appearing. So I'm looking for recessive, and I see here it's gonna appear 122 times. So 122 is my one event. Now my total events, I need to add my dominant and recessive together. So that, if I add that together, I will get 572. Okay, now I wanna know, it didn't say how I need to display it. I will let you know, does it need to be a decimal? Does it need to be a percent? So, 100, oops, 122 divided by 572, and that's going to get me 0 0.21. And since this could be a, um, a percent, we'll just go out to the nearest hundredth, or 21%. So 21% of the time I expect to get a recessive, a recessive trait green color. Okay, let's try one more and then that'll be it. Okay, a trait that occurs 400, in 450 individuals out of a total of 100, I can't talk today, 1800 individual occurs with a probability of how many times? So that's just a simple setup. They gave me the numbers. I don't have to do any adding. So 450 divided by 1800. And so four, sorry about that. 450 divided by 1800. And I get 0.25 or 25 percent. Okay, so pretty straightforward, easy math. Um, make sure you have your calculator when you are taking the test. And that's it for today. Thanks.